Willis is Pat Walker Mission Winners, and I make a video for Bob. Bob, I thank you for the inquiry. It's a good one. And um, can you tell me something? I'll read it, you know, so you know that we're on the same page. Can you tell me something about any guidance you give to VIP members about positions that are currently held? And yes, I can. I have, this is my software program, Instant Software. I have a list of stocks. I always have these three up here. Here's QLD. It's one we own. This is one that I'm watching for somebody. Maxless stocks. And this is the keyless stock from today. We don't own any of these because the market's bad. Okay, the market's crummy. But what do I do? I have these organized with something we'd own, something I'm watching for somebody else who ask, a VIP ask about this stock, max list stocks, and key list. So what do I do? I watch these. If there's a stock that we own, it goes up at the top here. All right? And this is, you know, let's suppose we owned this one. We don't. Let's own this one, and we own this. They're up at the top, and they're separated by the others. During the day, what do I do? I am scanning during the day to see what's happening. This is my entire focus. I am very stringent with what I do. As far as priorities are concerned, my number one priority are the VIPs and the stocks that we own. That's it. That's it. I don't have anything else going on. I don't day trade at all. I don't look at five minute charts. I don't really look at 10 minute charts. But what I do, and this is really nice, if I own something, I just adjust the alert. See how these alerts move? I just adjust them. Here's the daily chart. I could take it to hourly and say, oh, okay, well, there it is. Well, I'm going to lower it a little bit. I do that. And it's simple. I want to lower this one. If it starts to go up, this goes up. QLD currently has a higher low, but the market's crummy, so we don't do anything. We just kind of sit tight and wait. Turn on, this is the daily chart going back to it. Now, what I do, as I said, I organize this by stocks that we could own, all right? I just drag these up here to show you, okay? We don't, we don't own these, believe me. We don't, we don't own this. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you, I'll put it back down here. Oh, there it is right there. But if we did own it, it's going to be up there. We don't own this either. Here we go. We put it right there with the max list. So we're very organized, very organized. I will also tell you this. Um, if a client owns a stock, if a VIP owns a stock and they're like, hey, can you tell me, can you just kind of watch it for me? Well, sure. Like in mode. Somebody asked me about it. So I'm watching it for them. That's all. You know, it doesn't look good here. They're in it. I'm not. They're in it. But I'll watch it for them out of a, as a courtesy. That's all. And I keep them alert. I keep them alert to what's going on with the stock. Uh, go back here. Here's the daily. There we go. As I, as I watch them for them. Yes, I see that you're very, um, you know, sell or even get out. Yeah. Any guidance that you give? Yes, I give guidance when I'm going to buy more. And I'll show you something here. Right there. There's the VIP buy alert. If I sell, we have our own private room. If I sell, this slides into the window. And I say, I am selling Apple. And they get that alert. Then I go onto the platform. And I'll wait a bit. I don't front run. And then I'll sell. And then I post my price to the VIPs, to the penny, on what I bought it for or what I sold it for. Complete transparency, clean and simple. Just to let you know, I was an IBD Meetup co-leader for 12 years. And I actually at one time sat down and had lunch with Bill O'Neill and got to talk to him one-on-one. -on -one and loved it. Am I active? No, to be honest, there are days that I don't do too much. If I own a bunch of stocks, I'll just let them work as long as they keep on going. I'm really big on trends. And I'll give you an example. Now, this, I'm not bragging, okay, please, because we have losses too, but we keep losses very, very small. But like Tesla, we bought it right there at 338.30. I'll show you exactly why we bought it. Look at the nice channel, max list stock. Look at the volume pickup this day. It was on the key list for the buy ne the next day, and it triggered, and we bought it for $338.30. 
No, this is not. They all don't do this, though, please. I, I, I want to stress that, okay? No way am I saying, oh, everything works this way. No, this is highly unusual. But look at, look, this yellow line is the eight period exponential moving average. And if you look closely, this is one of our rules. You will not see a day this entire move that this stock closed below the eight day moving average. Even this day comes down to the eight day, gaps down but closes above it. We just let it work this day. We let it work as long. And did we sell some into strength? Of course we did. Did we sell more here? Of course we did. Now, I have to stress, this is unusual, all right? I wish they all did this and they don't. But my big mantra is this. I will let stocks trend on the 8-day and the 20-day simple moving average as long as humanly possible. If I have a big enough cushion, I'll give it down to the 50-day and see what happens. I will just let it work. And... That helps us. Here's another one. And again, buy right there. I'll shrink this for you so you can see what I'm talking about. And again, this isn't like, oh, you know, everything's wonderful. No, good Lord, they all don't work. But it just trended. Bounces off the 20 day, sell more. Finally, when it lost the 20 day last week on volume, we took the rest out in this market. So we sit tight and we wait. Anyway, that is what we do. And it works great. Does it work every time? I stress. I'm not trying to sound negative. No, but I'm very big on clean entry. It's good above this line. And by Jove, if it starts cracking down below this line, I'm selling. I do not limit losses at five to seven percent. I want much less than that. All right. Do I day trade? No. Do I scalp? No. Do I look at five minute charts? No. I rarely look at 10-minute charts. I focus on daily, weekly, and hourly, and periodically 30-minute charts to let the thing ride as long as possible. And again, I stress, can slim? Yeah. Do I limit losses? Yes. Bill O'Neill talks about, you know, 7 8%, but he prefers 5 He really prefers 3 We run it really tight. If it's good above this line, it's bad below this line, and by Jove, I'll be selling some. I never want a big loss, so I keep them extremely small. Do I day trade as I stated? No, I don't. Am I really active? Not really. But can I buy something and sell it relatively soon if it starts to fall? Sure, but I'm very, very stringent on my entries, and I can go through days. I don't do anything. I don't do anything because there's nothing to do. People say, oh, you got to do something? No, I don't equate activity with profitability. They are really not 100% correlated. Anyway, I'm sorry this video went longer, but you know the CanSlim system. Yeah, I, I've taught it. I've been to CanSlim Level 3 a couple of times. I've got material from CanSlim Level 4 firmly ingrained in it. But I do not wait just for the cup and a handle, because if you did, we'll starve. Anyway, I hope that helps you. I apologize this video was a little longer, but again, you asked pointed questions that I wanted to answer. Anyway, thank you very much. And yes, do I keep people posted on what we own? You're darn right. They're on my front page all the time. So thank you for asking, and I hope you have a good, safe day.